Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, Creative Cooking puts a new spin on how you can use traditional Jamaican foods to make interesting meals. Stay tuned now for your host, Maisie Miller. We welcome you to Creative Cooking. On this program, we seek to expose young talent, especially in the area of the culinary arts. Today, I'd like you to meet John Ross Todd. Welcome to the program, son. Thank you, Amanda. We have asked you to select traditional Jamaican food and to prepare it in a creative way, an interesting way that the entire family will want to eat this. What have you come up with? Today, I'll be working with some dashin lasagna, baked macaroni, and stew oxtail pie. All right, first, I'm going to do my lasagna. I'm going to start by blanching, mm -hmm. all right? I don't want to overcook them. Right. So I'm going to do it for probably two minutes yes. and then take them out. Okay. All right. While we blanch our dashing for two minutes, I'm okay. going to start by sauteing some onion and some garlic for our cream sauce, okay. which I'm going to use to coat it up. Okay. All right. A pinch of chopped garlic. Garlic, yes. All right. Also some chopped onions. onions. Yes. Yeah, man. About a tablespoon of each. Yeah, yeah about a tablespoon. Yeah. All right. Then we let it saute up. Yeah. All right. Add a water cup full of every cream. Yes. All right. Whisk it up. Some black pepper. All right. Just a sprinkle of black pepper. Also some salt. Now, let's whisk it so it don't overflow on your stove. Mm -hmm. Now we let it reduce for a minute or two okay. till it gets a little body. Nice body, All right, yes. So I can mm -hmm. use it to coat up our dashing. Okay. All right. All right, let's check on our dashing to see how far we have reached. All right, dashing is ready. All right, thank you very thank much. You. All right. Let's see, our sauce is getting Thick right here, yes, yes. All right. by Both reducing by itself without yes. any thickening agent. Yes. All right. Smells no. good. All right, you can turn it off for me, please. Okay. okay. Now we have our casserole dish, yes. which I'm going to line with some grease paper. All right, I'm just going to take my brush, mm -hmm. and I'm going to brush up. Sauce on today. All right, grease, grease paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just brush it on. Give it a little coat. Interesting. So our dashing doesn't stick. Yeah, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to make a layer in the casserole dish mm -hmm. first with a dash in. All right. And make it neat in the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. need one more piece. All right, that's it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is coat it again with our sauce. Mm -hmm. our cream sauce right here. We brush on some more. Make it keep it moist. All right. Some mozzarella cheese. Okay. All right. Mozzarella cheese help to combine it mm -hmm. together. Then right. hold it together, yes. All right. So it doesn't fall apart. Thin layer. All right, very thin. All right, now you're gonna make a second layer on top. Okay. All right. All the way through. All right. Now we're gonna coat it again with some cream sauce. Here. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna cover it down mm -hmm. and press on it mm -hmm. to get it firm. Compact. Right, yes. right. Mm -hmm. To top it off. Another layer of cheese. Right, so mm -hmm. another layer of cheese. Light. Alright. So when you put it in the oven at 350 degrees Celsius, right? You get a nice golden crust on top. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a big macaroni and stew oxtail pie. Alright. Right. My some vegetables. Garlic, right. Mm -hmm. Some garlic. Yes. Also some onions. Okay. I'm going to add some scallion also. Mm -hmm. Since we're going to be stewing our oxtail, yes. which is yes. cooked and deboned. Right. Alright. Also 
some local green peppers. Yes, red and green. Red and green peppers, right? Give it some color. Right. Some carrot, yeah, yeah. which is blanche. So it reduces the cooking time. Mm -hmm. All right. My oxtail, which is already cooked, cooked and par cooked and deboned, right? Okay, okay. You know, Jamaicans have a love affair with oxtail, right? Chef? Yeah, I know. So Jamaican can see another way instead of just chewing and eating rice and peas, we can be and creative. And can see for themselves that oxtail can be deboned. Right, you know? right. Yeah. A little bit of grace all purpose season. Yeah. All right, just to help enhance the flavor some more. Yeah. A bit of black pepper also. Mm -hmm. Also, add some grace ketchup, yes. it's already poured. Grace right. tomato ketchup, yes. Or a quarter cup there, bro. Um, yeah. yeah. Four tablespoons, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Stir it up again. All right, right about now, we're ready to add our macaroni. Okay. All right. Some macaroni. Right, I don't want to overcook it because mm -hmm. I'm going to bake it again. Okay. So I'm going to turn it off now. Okay. Right. Set it aside. I got me some puff pastry here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut some streaks out of it, some strips. Now, what I'm going to do, Maisie, is take my you will oxtail here, macaroni. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place it in this bowl right here. Now I'm gonna take my puff pastry, all right, and I'm going to, as you said, like let it work across the top. Yes. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna slide it in the oven. The lasagna should be finished. You baked one for us ahead of time. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love the color, I like the color you have. All right. Um, the even distribution of, of the color there. Right, it's not that hot. Right. So I'm going to turn it upside down okay, so cool. I can have it unmold. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to do that or you want to turn, flip it over? It's okay. All right, cool. I take this for right, Hold on, just a sec, Maisie. So I can just remove the grease paper. Yeah. Got a nice little wow. square. Can I bring this display plate for you? No, yeah, my, you can. Thank okay. you. Uh, could you check with the oven also? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to rest this right here. It's Not so compact, Chef. Yes, right. Right. And so dinner is ready to be served. Dinner is ready, Maisie. Okay. Very creative, it's very yeah. different, and well presented. We thank you for sharing this creative meal idea with us. Thank you very yeah. much for having me on your show. It was our pleasure having you on the program. As always, we thank you so much for watching. Traditional Jamaican foods, new ways to prepare them. Something different for you to try out and enjoy at home. Hope you enjoyed today's creative cooking and that you'll join us again next Monday morning at 7.35 with a repeat on Sundays at 2.20 p.m. here on TVJ. That's creative cooking. Don't miss it.